Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a really interesting and special opening here. So right here I have the starter kit for uh, 2021 I believe, or it might have been 2022. I'm not too sure, you guys might be familiar with it anyway. But this here is just really fun because you could actually get a code card to add onto Arena and actually utilize the deck itself. Uh, more so a deck for standard, of course, because uh, you do get four copies of most cards here. So it's going to be two 60 card decks we're going to be opening up in this particular set. But excitingly, I do also have over here a signature spellbook Chandra, which is definitely something I'm really excited about because I am getting into Commander. And as someone who is new to Magic, I don't have a lot of the essential staples. As a result, to get this, and uh, get a lot of the essential reprints here would definitely be quite a uh, significant ad advantage for me to actually get this particular product. So uh, I definitely recommend this for a lot of new players just like myself um, to actually be finding these and trying to add to your commander decks. But of course we'll open that up last so I'm going to set that aside for now and we're just going to be opening up this first and seeing what we could actually get uh, inside this particular set here. So I am going to try and figure out where I can open this up first. Alright so this is what we have over here. We have our two decks. Uh, so this here is our welcoming vampire which is a fantastic card of course. Uh, it seems to come here in Crimson Vow, very nice of course. And we also have over here our Thundering Raiju, uh, which also comes from a set I'm not too familiar with. Uh, but with that being said, uh, these are the two that we have here. So we just set that aside for now. Uh, aside from that, we have our two decks, which is really interesting because I believe they are mixed colors and not mono. Uh, so that's fantastic, but we also have here a play guide. Uh, this is quite important for a lot of new players. I think for older players it doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, but the whole idea behind this is learning the keywords, uh, aura, attach, um, you know, it's a, a lot of things that a new player might not know. Uh, it's actually quite important to actually just go over these and be more familiar with these just in case. And honestly, it's good to just carry this around whenever you're about to go out to play a game of Commander or a game of Magic in general, just because uh, these keywords might actually come out uh, based on what your opponent might be playing. So really handy thing to actually have there, especially uh, for players who have just got into the game. Uh, here's our deck boxes. It's a shame to see that they're both just uh, plain and there's nothing in the front like this. Uh, definitely quite disappointing there, but uh, nevertheless, it's just a nice addition uh, to store your cards. But with that being said, let's take a look and see what's actually inside here. So there should be a special tab to open up, which, uh, let's see. All right, there we are. Just gonna try and take this out here, the wrappings. And yep, so just these two uh, cards here, which are not necessarily actual cards itself, but yeah, let's begin. So firstly, we have over here uh, Ascendant Pack Leader. So I'm not going to go over every single card, but you can see that's a lot of, uh, you know, rares that's actually been included here. So that's definitely nice. But uh, yeah, it's a mix of both uh, red and green, so definitely quite interesting here to see uh, such a combination. But of course, I am definitely keen to uh, get into a bit more standard format, or at least pioneer format. Uh, that would be quite fun. So yeah, definitely let me know what you guys actually uh, think about these particular cards, what you actually think about this particular set. I would like to know more about this as I am not too familiar with uh, different cards here. So with that being said, this definitely looks really exciting to play. Uh, red and green could be quite an aggressive uh, deck to actually use right off the bat. But right over here, we have our other deck. Uh, it is white mixed with something else. I'm not entirely sure what particular uh, color is actually joining in with white in this case, but 
I guess we'll have to find out. So let me just uh, try and get this plastic out here. Uh, same two cards that we normally get. And let's see what's actually in this one. So it's a white blue deck, definitely really interesting there. Um, but we do see a few familiar cards, at least from Crimson Vow. Uh, so that's definitely very nice, but uh, yeah, it's like really fascinating just to see all of these different cards here. Uh, so yeah, it's not bad. It's a great way to actually learn just because you're getting a deck that's already pre-built for you. So. Uh, it's a good chance for you to actually just try it out and see how you go and based on how you actually perform you could then readjust your actual deck itself uh, depending on what you actually prefer to play or uh, what works for you so that's definitely really interesting decks here i uh, can't wait to actually try them out the interesting thing is uh, you should be able to use the code twice one with a friend one for yourself and by doing so uh, what you could essentially do is uh, you could just go up against a friend with uh, Magic Arena, which is definitely quite a nice thing to be adding on to the game. But the last thing I want to open up here is the uh, signature spellbook Chandra. Uh, definitely very exciting here to open up this. So with that being said, let's just uh, get this opened up here. So I have like a knife, an exacto knife, and uh, yeah, it's gonna pry it open. I'll set this aside and it looks pretty simple I mean fairly standard uh, looks a bit crushed on the side here that's a shame but that's okay uh, we're gonna open it up here and it doesn't even open up all the way but I don't think that matters because all we need here is the actual card itself or the pack itself really interesting because there's not much else to it um, so I'm just gonna detach this Right there and you get a nice quote from Chandra the bigger they are the hotter they burn very interesting uh, we could put that back and we could essentially just close this up makes a nice display but otherwise it is just uh, packaging uh, we have over here our pack so really excited to open this up there is only eight cards so not much to actually uh, look forward to but they are essential reprints uh, for this particular set so just trying to be very proper here about how I open this up so that I don't damage the cards. But let's get this out. So, you do get one foil card out of all of them. And it looks like we have Right of Flame, which is very interesting here. Also, alternate artwork is uh, just a nice bonus as well. So, that seems to be our uh, foil in this case. Very happy here. Uh, but aside from that, we also have uh, Young Pyromancer, we have uh, the, the normal Rite of Flame at least, the non-foiled version. So you could arguably just buy a bunch of signature spellbook Chandras, as many as you want, and hope that you can get foiled versions for each and every one of these cards, since it's a variation, you don't know what you're going to get. Uh, but that being said, uh, it just depends on whether or not you have um, that expendable income. But with that being said, Pyromancer Extension, uh, we have Pyroblast, a lot of great one drops as well, low cost cards, fantastic, but we have Past in Flames, which is a little bit more costly, but that's okay, uh, Fiery Confluence, uh, we have Cathartic Reunion, um, and of course we have here Chandra Torch of Defiance, a fantastic card here, uh, this will be our Planeswalker. Yeah, just definitely a really nice card. Uh, very excited about this for sure. So yeah, to actually have all of these just added into a red commander deck would be absolutely uh, fantastic. I am definitely excited about that. But uh, that being said, this is all we had to open up today. So I do hope you guys actually enjoyed this particular video. Thanks for joining me today. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Till then, goodbye.